First, raise the vehicle on the lift. Turn off the ignition and remove the key. Protect the car from scratches. Now put on your safety gloves. Then remove the upper engine cover. In order to remove the heat shield around the turbocharger, remove the screws. Now remove the clamp around the exhaust pipe. It's situated between the turbocharger and the diesel particle filter. Take note, both the seal and the clamp must be replaced on reassembly. Next, remove the lambda sensor in front of the catalytic converter. Disconnect the connector. And remove the lambda sensor. In the engine compartment, Disconnect the electrical connection of the temperature sensor from the exhaust gas turbocharger. Also, unclip the cable from the heat shield of the diesel particle filter. Now remove the differential pressure sensor from the bracket on the exhaust gas turbocharger. To do this, screw the nut from the sensor. and then remove the differential pressure sensor from the holder. We continue under the vehicle. Remove the lower engine compartment covering. Now you remove the entire exhaust system. Undo the screws on the exhaust pipe at the diesel particle filter. Unscrew the front bracket from the frame rail. Then disconnect the electrical connector on the exhaust flap actuator. Disconnect the bracing from the frame floor assembly. Once you've removed all the screws, you can remove the complete exhaust system. The next step is the removal of the lower pendulum support. To do this, undo the two screws from the support. The screw on the front axle is next. Press the engine on the oil pan slightly forward. This way the lower pendulum support can be easily removed. 
Now disassemble the exhaust gas recirculation pipe to the diesel particle filter. For the next step, lower the car down. Then you can remove the temperature sensor from the diesel particle filter. To do this, first disconnect the electrical cable at the holder. Then unclip the electrical cable to the diesel particle filter. Once that's done, you simply unscrew the temperature sensor. Note, upon reinstallation, coat the threads of the temperature sensor with hot lubricating paste. Now remove the heat shield of the diesel particle filter. Once you've removed the screws, you can either remove the shield from the top or the bottom of the engine compartment. We opt for below. The right wheel has to go. Then you remove the front axle shaft with guide bearings. Remove the grease cap and then the central screw. In order to protect the threads, temporarily replace the nut with a spacer. Now disconnect the boil joint from the steering knuckle using an extractor. Undo the screws on the front axle shaft center bearing. Then the front axle shaft can be removed. You are nearing your goal. Now remove the bracket of the diesel particle filter on the crankcase. It's secured with two screws on the crankcase and another screw on the particle filter. Then remove the mount on the lower pendulum support on the oil pan. To create more space, take off the bracket of the front axle shaft center bearing.
Finally, the retaining straps of the diesel particle filter. Now get a colleague to help you by pushing the engine slightly forward. Now you can remove the diesel particle filter. The assembly takes place in the reverse order.